specifically cooking every single recipe from this book called Half Bake Harvest, super simple. I will link the cookbook down below because you can get it on Amazon. It's only about $14 and it's absolutely amazing. You can also check your library because that's where I found my first copy and realized that I wanted to get it myself. If you didn't see the very first video I've done so far, episode one, I will link it up above and down below for you guys to check out. I'm putting all of these videos together in a playlist, so that way if you do own this cookbook, you can go through every single video and cook the recipe along with me. I will not be telling you exact measurements of all the recipes, I'm just gonna be showing you step by step of how to make it, so definitely pick up a copy of the cookbook if you do wanna make it along with me. Today we're gonna be making the Thai basil beef with peanut salsa except I'm actually not gonna make the peanut salsa because both of us don't really like nuts in our savory food so I will tell you what I'm leaving out but everything else I'm gonna be keeping the same this says it should be able to be ready in about 15 to 20 minutes which is really good because I need a very quick dinner today and I'm also gonna be drinking my favorite wine at the time this is the 19 crimes uh, wine which has Snoop Dogg on it. It's like a red blend, so it's not very dry at all. It's actually very fruity. Okay, step one, I'm actually said to bring a large saucepan of water to boil, and I actually already did that, so it was just boiling. I had to turn it down. I'm gonna turn it back up in just a bit. The ingredients that we're using for today's recipe are gonna be rice noodles, sesame oil, ground beef, garlic, ginger, sweet Thai chili sauce, which I just got this like organic one from Kroger. Um, soy sauce, which I am using tamari because it's like a fermented soy sauce, so got that. Uh, basil, limes, the peanuts we're gonna leave out, and then it called for a red fresno pepper, but I could not find one around, so I'm just gonna use a jalapeno today. Then carrots, green onions, and it says mint leaves are optional, and we're definitely gonna leave those out. All right, first step is to cook the rice noodles. According to the package, I just got the Taste of Thai linguine rice noodles. So that's what they look like. We're gonna go ahead and cook them up. It looks like they're gonna cook for about four to six minutes in our, it's just water. Okay, I'm gonna put my cookbook in my cookbook holder, which I actually got from Amazon. My husband got it for me a couple years ago and I use it all the time. I'll have it linked below if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, so it says in a large skillet, we're going to heat sesame oil and we're going to add the ground beef and cook it. So I'm actually probably gonna move you guys over here so you're closer to the cooking area. Okay, hopefully this works really well. I'm glad it started to get sunny because it was uh, storming a lot earlier and I thought it was gonna be really dark for this video. Okay, this is the sesame oil that I use. It's just um, the Chosen Foods toasted sesame oil. So we're gonna head, go ahead and pour some of this in here. I'm just gonna be using um, this organic ground beef that I got from Kroger. A lot of times I actually get my meat from a local farm, but I didn't this day. Check our noodles really quick. Scissors to cut this open. Use a wooden spoon, break it up. Okay, so we're gonna have to use ginger and a trick that I have is to keep it in the freezer. Number one, it'll stay there for forever and you won't have to constantly buy more ginger. It just stays like that. And then number two, I use a micro plane. So it's kind of like a grater. It's just not as, it's different than a grater. A grater usually has like ways to grate more of a thing. This is more like a zester kind of thing. Anyway, if you take your frozen 
ginger. You can literally just microplane it. And it's so much easier. I don't even peel it. I just literally grate it right in here. Turn my noodles off. I'm just gonna let them sit there for a little bit while we finish this part. And we're going to get some fresh garlic cloves. And the easiest way to peel them is to take your knife flat like this and hit it. So that way it smashes it and the peel will come right off. I'm just going to chop these up. Okay, now we're gonna add our ginger and our garlic to our meat. I've been stirring it while it's been browning this whole time. All right, go ahead, add your garlic and your ginger. All right, we want that to saute a bit because we want the garlic to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and drain my noodles because they're gonna go in here very soon. Cold water. Okay, now it says for us to make the sauce in here with the beef. So it is um, part of this sweet Thai chili sauce that we're gonna be using. And then some of the soy sauce. You could use tamari, you could probably use coconut aminos. And that goes. Then it also says to add a half a cup of water. Okay. Now it says to cook until the sauce like thickens a little bit, about five minutes. I'm gonna turn the burner up just a little bit to get it like simmering again, but don't like make sure it doesn't burn. While this is gonna be simmering for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the green onions and cut up a little bit of the pepper. All right, anytime you're dealing with like jalapeno peppers, definitely make sure that you have gloves on and do not touch any part of your face, your eyes, anything like that while you have your gloves on. Make sure that you are washing your hands really well afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and seed my jalapeno pepper because um, I don't want it to be too spicy. So I'm gonna cut it out and I'll show you like how to cut the membrane and stuff out. I'm gonna go ahead, cut it in half. All of these like seed and membrane parts are the spiciest. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut like this. Try and get a lot of that out. Okay, so we're left with this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it very tiny. I think I'm only gonna use half, I'm afraid of it being too spicy. Okay, this looks like it has gotten pretty thick to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our noodles right in. Okay, add the rice noodles and cook, tossing to coat. We did that until warmed through about one minute. Remove the skillet from the heat and stir in the basil and half of the lime juice. I forgot to go grab the basil. Well, hello there, basil. All right, we're gonna chop this up real quick. All right, let's go ahead and stir in the basil into here. And it says juice of two limes, let me grab those. Ooh, I get to show you guys um, a trick that I learned from TikTok. Someone just taught me this. When I say someone, I mean literally somebody I don't know on TikTok. So it looks like this, right? And normally you would put it in your, and you know, squeeze or whatever. Well, anyway, they said to cut off the other end here. So that way, when you put it in your juicer, all of the juice will go into like 
the bottom area. Cut off the end, end side goes down, and juice. All of the juice out of the whole entire thing. Let's go ahead and stir this up. Because I'm not making the peanut salsa, what you would do for that is it says you would do like the other juice of the lime, the jalapeno or fresno pepper, and then the peanuts, and you would like mix that together. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the jalapeno in here um, with like the spring onions and stuff, and I'm gonna try it before I add more lime juice because I wanna just make sure that it's not too limey. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add some of these, this jalapeno, and I'm gonna stir it up and we're gonna taste it. I think it definitely needs salt. And I'm gonna do a little bit more of the soy sauce and the sweet chili because I think it's a little too dry. And I'm gonna do a half of another lime. Okay. Mm, let's plate it up. It has those like weird carrot ribbon things. So I'm just gonna first peel my carrot. I literally just think this part is for garnish, but I think that if you would have like prepared it beforehand, you could have definitely cooked the carrot into it, which would actually probably be really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel as long of a strand as I can. I don't have any longer carrots, unfortunately. Honestly, this is kind of stupid. <clears throat> I would definitely suggest doing this on a mandolin and not with the peeler. We're gonna give up on the carrot part. I think it's stupid. All right, I'm gonna try and get a picture of this now. show you my uh, picture. I didn't edit it yet. Here is what her picture looks like. That's her picture. That's mine. Man, perfect. It looks pretty the same, huh? It looks fabulous. Yeah. I, I'd eat it. Yeah. Right in front of me. All right, let's uh, taste it. Well, obviously you can see it's Thai basil beef. I did not do the peanut salsa because I know that we don't really like I can dig it. It's good. I would say it's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Even normal for like Asian flavors. Yeah, it's, mi it's mild. Yeah, it's mild. It's not spicy at all, even though I literally added a whole jalapeno and it's raw. I'm gonna put sriracha on mine. Definitely much more sweet than it is spicy at all. Yeah. It is not, it's not spicy at all, even with that jalapeno. But it's not that it's bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, do you want to say the rating? Three, two, one, go. Five. Six. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's just middle of the road. It was very easy to make, um, but it's not going to be like a whole bunch of depth of flavor. I feel like this is the Thai dish you would make for like a family, like like because you know it's not going to be overpowering or anything. It's just like a standard. Like if you're gonna make Thai food for someone who's never made, like had it before, this would be like a good starter thing to maybe. That's try. very true, yeah. For or someone who just doesn't like, like spices. Or something. Yeah. yeah, it's like introduction to Thai. And it would probably be really good, even like cold, like next yeah. day, cold salad. I think it would probably be good. Those carrot ribbons, yeah. literally, were just for garnish. Oh yeah, for sure. But even like, yeah, even in the recipe, I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to like include in the recipe and then it's just for garnish. 
Yeah. I feel like it could like, you know, put shredded carrots in there like as a cooked thing or something, you know? Or right, you could have like did a quick pickle like pickled carrots. Mmm. Yeah, that would have been really good. Pickled carrots. Add that, you know, extra crunch on into mm -hmm. this. Yeah, you're right. I'm not a chef. That would be very good. Also not critiquing the book. Uh, no, it's your... Um, True thoughts. Adaption. Adaptation. Yeah. It's if you were making it, you would add pickled carrots. If I were making it, I'd still have you make it for me. <laughs> but I guess her crunch element was the, would have been the peanut sauce that we put in here. Mm -hmm. So. I wouldn't have mind like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I just don't like peanuts in my stuff. Okay, so obviously this was not our favorite recipe out of the book. And I do want to clarify with the rating system that we're doing that when we're rating a recipe from one to 10, one isn't like the worst food we've ever eaten. It's just the rating of all of the recipes that we think are going to be from the book. So when we rated this meal a five, like that doesn't mean that it's halfway on one of the worst meals we've ever had. That just means that out of all of the recipes out of the book and kind of our expectation of what they're going to taste like it was a five for us so it was just kind of like middle of the road you know like nothing absolutely fantastic or crazy or different but that doesn't mean that it was bad like we said, it had a lot of mild flavors. So if you don't like very strong flavors, this is a great noodle recipe for you to try. It also was really easy. So you had pre-made sauces. You could easily whip this up without having to, you know, make a sauce from scratch. So that was a plus. It was not spicy at all. Next time, if I were to make it again, I would definitely include the jalapeno like in slices with the seeds because I really wanted some type of heat with it. Adding sriracha was great too. So if you just want to add sriracha, if you know, maybe your husband likes it mild and you want it spicy, that's an easy way to do it without making the whole thing spicy. I definitely like Alvin idea for the quick pickled carrot I would definitely do that in the future if I can find a good recipe I think would go well with this I'll put it down below for you guys so that way when you make it I wouldn't even mess with the carrot slices I would just buy like shredded carrots and then if you do a quick pickle with it that would be so good with it because to me I felt like it needed a bit more like vinegar or sour flavor as well as a spicy flavor because the sweet Thai chili sauce is very sweet. But that's also me, I love vinegar stuff. I love spicy stuff. I mean, not too spicy, but I am like a sour girl through and through, let me tell you. Okay, I think that's about it for this recipe. I mean, if you wanted to change the protein, you totally could. I'm pretty sure any type of protein would go well with this, but this is a really good ground beef recipe that's different than other ground beef recipes. And I love cooking with ground beef because it's so easy. It's a lot cheaper than other cuts of meat So if you're tired of all of your ground beef recipes, then this one would be a really good one That's probably out of your normal routine. All right, you guys that's it for this video I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it I love hearing what you've learned from each video like on my last one when all of you were like wow I didn't know how to cut a pineapple. I loved reading those comments because it makes me feel like okay This is actually like an educational video. I'm not just, you know, filming what I'm eating. I mean, even though I am, but if you learned something from this video, definitely pop a comment down below. I love reading those. See you guys in another Cook With Me very soon. Bye-bye.